Welcome. This is going to be cool. So uh, I need some help with the, with the story today. So do you think you guys can help me a little bit? Yeah. Okay. In the story, there's going to be people rowing a boat. So when I say the word row, I need you to row the boat. Row the boat. Like, you know, when you row the boat. Yep. Just like that. There's going to be people walking. So if they walk, we walk. And sometimes the wind is going to blow. So when the, I say wind, you go, and then stop. See, we're afraid that the, the wind is going to blow for like hours. So we'll just do a little bit of wind. Okay, so we'll try it again. Wind. Stop. Perfect. Perfect. Very nice. Okay, so we'll practice those again. Row. Wind. Stop. And walk. All right. Awesome. Okay. So this story is a story of something that happened when Jesus was here on earth. Now, when he was here, he did a lot. He spent his days, he would talk to people, he would tell them stories, he would heal them, he would teach them things. And then when it got to be supper time, people had to go home to eat and go to sleep, right? So they would walk home. <laughs> and Jesus would oftentimes have he and his disciples, they would get into a boat on the Sea of Galilee, they would row the boat, out to get far enough, they'd put up the sail, and away they'd go to the next place where they could talk to more people the next day. Well, one night, one afternoon, evening, when everybody walked home, Jesus told his disciples, you know, I need to go and pray. So I'm going to walk up the mountain, and I'm going to pray. You guys get into the boat and row on out over to that city over there. It was called Capernaum. You guys go over there and I'll meet you there. So they got in the boat and they rowed. And they got out there and they put up the sail and they started sailing off. And Jesus did. He walked up the mountain and he prayed. And he talked to his father, which was awesome because he loved talking to his dad. Well, as night fell, as it got dark, the wind it started and the wind blew harder and the waves were like this and then the waves were like this and then the wind was so tough they had to take the sail down and they had to row because it's important if you're in a boat and there's really big waves you have to point the boat into the waves because if you're sideways to the waves and the wave comes, the wave does this, or the boat does this. And so they did. They rowed, and they rowed to keep the boat safe. And they started getting tired. Oh, they'd been rowing for hours, it felt like. And they were scared, and they were tired, and they wished Jesus was with, him, with them, because they knew if he was in the boat, they'd be safe. But he wasn't. He was up on the mountain praying. Well, that evening, what is it? They could still be saved. It because is true. Jesus is everywhere. That is true. I think they had a human moment and they forgot. Oh, is really what it was. <laughs> but so when the wind started blowing, Jesus, up on the mountain, having prayed for, for several hours, thought to himself, you know, my disciples are probably going to need me pretty soon. So he got up and he walked down the mountain and he got to the seashore and there wasn't a boat for him. So he walked on top of the water. Now I admit, I can't do that. I don't know anybody other than Jesus that can do that, but he did it just as if it was dirt or rock or ice, he could walk right on it. It was amazing. So he did, he headed right out to where the boat was. Well, remember the disciples, they were in the boat, they were rowing the boat they were tired and then they saw off there over by there where there was water only a person coming towards them and they got scared they were afraid it was a ghost and they went ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah exactly like that yeah <laughs> they really did they got so scared the great thing though is that jesus heard them go ah! perfect he heard them and he called out. He said, hey, don't be afraid, it's me. 
And they looked, and they were like, hey, have, have you ever known that Jesus could walk on the water? Did, did you know that? I, I, I didn't know that. I, I, I had no idea. And so finally, one of the disciples, his name was Peter, he said, um, <clears throat> if that's really you, Jesus, tell me to walk on the water out to you. Jesus is like, okay, come on. And so Peter jumped over the side of the boat, and he walked off across the water over to Jesus. And he was like, wow, this is cool. This is so much fun. The thing, though, is that then the wind blew extra big, and the waves were huge, and Peter got scared. He looked at the waves. He looked at all of the crazy spray from the wind, and he forgot to look at Jesus, and he started to sink. And as he sunk into the water, he got scared even more, and he said, Lord, help me. And... Jesus is like, okay. So he reaches down, he picked up Peter out of the water, and he put him back up on top of the water again. And he said, uh, Peter, why did you doubt? Have a little faith here, man. And uh, Peter's like, thank you. So they got into the boat, and all of the disciples looked at Jesus, and they looked at Peter, and they looked at Jesus, and they said, wow. Can you guys do that one with me? Wow. wow. Exactly. They were just amazed. They said, surely you are the son of God. You're just amazing. Now, the point of this story, besides the fact that it's an awesome story about Jesus, because Jesus is awesome, is that sometimes we get scared. Sometimes we're in the middle of a boat and the wind is blowing. Uh, sometimes I'm walking along. There was, uh, you know, we're, we're doing something and we just get scared of something that's going to happen. And what we can do, though, is we can say, Jesus, help me, just like Peter did, right? Can we do that? Jesus. Jesus, help me. Jesus, help me. Yes, exactly. And he does every time he helps us. And it is so cool that he can be there for us. And that is the end of the story. Sophia, what did you want to say? In my classroom, we've been learning about morals. And I think the moral to the story is to have faith. Yes, it is. Have faith. And call on Jesus when you forget. Yeah. Or when you're scared anyways. But all right, thank you so much. You can head back.